On this Earth Day, we're taking you to Panama. It's there that one of the first mass relocations of people due to climate change is set to happen. More than 1,000 people of the Gunayala tribe will have to leave a group of islands off the country's northern coast due to sea level rise. Manuel Bajorca has traveled there and has this report. For hundreds of years, these waters have acted as the buffer that protects the Gunayala culture. On Gardisukdu, or Crab Island, every square inch is occupied. Houses perched right on the edge of the water. We arrived by boat at one of the island's tiny ports to see it for ourselves. Gracias. Here, there are no cars or motorcycles. Women dress in traditional attire. And people who gather in their government hall speak the native tongue. It's where we met Magdalena Martinez, who also speaks Spanish. We had to leave due to great forces, she says, recounting how the Gunayala escaped aggression from Spanish colonizers and the Panamanian government by settling on these islands generations ago. But now the tide is turning. Flooding like this has become more frequent due to the effects of sea level rise on these low-lying islands, especially during the rainy season. The evidence of which we saw firsthand when Magdalena Martinez showed us around the island's fragile coastline. So that's the water mark. You could see how high the water had come into one of their schools. ¿Cómo están? Hola, hola, hola. Buenos días. And into some homes during high tide. No tenemos por qué mentir. Yeah, you're not making this up, sí. you say. No tienen por qué mentir. No. Es la realidad. Es la triste realidad. The sad reality. Sí. To be sure, overpopulation of the islands is a problem. But scientists say the bigger threat is climate change. By 2050, they'll be underwater. Underwater. That's less than 30 years. Less than 30 years. We spoke with Laurel Avila of Panama's Ministry of the Environment in the country's capital. It's a real thing. It's a real problem. It's a real problem. She says sea level rise is caused by carbon emissions raising the Earth's temperature, causing glaciers to melt and water molecules to expand. The water around the islands rose at a rate of about one millimeter a year in the 1960s. Now it's about 3.5 millimeters a year, meaning the Gunayala will have to leave. They have to be moved. They have to There's be moved. no other option. There's no other option. The rise of the sea level is not going to stop. It's something people here have slowly started to accept after years of putting up a fight. They've used rocks and remnants of coral reef to try to reclaim or expand their land. Entonces, rellenando, rellenando, rellenando filling, re filling, filling, filling. Uh -huh. Así ha pasado sí, todo el tiempo. all the time. Uh -huh. Porque el agua no para. The water claro, doesn't stop. Eso va subiendo. It keeps going up. Claro. Augusta Boyd says it's been the only way to keep the water at bay. The owner of one of the few stores on the island realizes it's a losing battle and they'll have to leave it all behind. Es algo difícil. It's very difficult. Eh, todo el sacrificio de uno. Everything you did here, todo lo que hizo aquí, se queda atrás, stays behind. Claro, no se puede. This will be their new home, a stark cookie-cutter subdivision, rows of houses that could not be more different than life on Gardisukdub. It's being built on land owned by the Gunayala, with the majority of the funding from the Panamanian government, about $13 million so far, but already facing delays. How far are we from the island? Two kilometers. Two kilometers. Two kilometers away from the island. Exactly. Alexander Jaime is with Panama's Ministry of Housing. This place is so different from what they're used to. Pero no hay otra opción. There's no other option. Ellos no tienen más tierras dentro de la isla. There's no other place to go other than here. No, solo aquí. Solo aquí. Back at Gardi Subdub. Garba. Garba is the basket. A group of women, including Magdalena Martinez, was eager to show me these homemade baskets they use for groceries. 
You don't want plastic bags at the store. You want to bring your... Esto protege el ambiente. This is to protect the environment. This is your home. My home. Your home. <laughs> they view climate change as a problem caused by the industrialized world unfairly bearing down on them and the culture they've so fiercely defended. The sign there says people who lose their tradition lose their soul. Are you concerned about losing the tradition? ¿Tienen temor a perder esa tradición? No, no tenemos ese temor. No, we don't have that fear, she says, because we carry the tradition inside. Yet that determination doesn't completely mask the fear of facing this new threat to their culture. For CBS Saturday Morning, Manuel Bajorquez, Gardi Sukdub, Panama. That's got to be hard to move from a water-based communal lifestyle mm -hmm. to one that's strictly land-based. I, I don't know, how do you make that, that transition? And this is happening so fast. I mean, in less than 30 years, all of that will be underwater. Mm -hmm. And they say they will retain their culture, but it's so difficult mm -hmm. to see how some of those traditions stay alive. And so different how it looks where they are now versus yes. yeah. this new housing that's coming in. It looks natural.